guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janae. I run a blog called Hi Little Lux, and I focus on luxury, beauty, fashion, and travel. And today we are doing my September favorites and fails. Please excuse my voice. I am at the tail end of a cold that I got in Paris because it was raining every day, but either way, I'm gonna sound very nasally, but we'll get through it. Um, so I didn't do a favorites in August, um, just because I like to make sure it's very authentic and I have enough things to show. So I just skipped August and we're gonna do September. So I have, again, a plethora of things from all different categories, skincare, makeup, clothes, shoes, all that stuff. So we will get right into it. Of course, before we get started, my, what I'm wearing, my sweater is from Mango. It is from last year, last fall, so they don't have it available anymore, but I'll see if I can link something similar. Um, I also have on Mango leather shorts. They're just little shorts. And then I have on these very cute, let me see if I can show you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> very cute boots um, from Public Desire. And I just thought they were so fun with the pink on the back of my sweater. So. That's what I'm wearing, uh, friendship bracelet, uh, Michelle watch. My hair, I've put it in the links below the description box, um, but it is a custom unit from the wig house. It will be below. Um, you can find them on Instagram, they have a website. So moving along to the favorites. The first favorite is going to be the Jackie Ina palette. I talked about this I'm not sure when I talked about it. It may have been in a favorites before, I'm not sure, but I have used this every time I do my makeup. I'm wearing it today, and I honestly don't have a palette that I can use every single color. So I just had to give it a shout out again. Um, today on my eyes, I have Credit, which is the dark brown color in my crease. I have Supreme, which is the pink color um, on the lid. And then I have Big Wig, which is the dark purple as like an eyeliner, if you can see. And I just love it. I use, I mean, I use literally all of these colors. I think there's two like sparkly ones I haven't used yet out of this entire palette and that's it. Um, and I just don't use sparkly colors that much, but I'm trying to venture out. So this is the first thing on my favorites. Okay, next favorite is going to be a perfume and I get a lot of questions about perfume a lot like doing a video um, I'm not like a perfume kind of girl like I have a few but I'm not a collector um, I just want to smell good <laughs> but I have the NARS audacious fragrance this was sent to me but there are a lot of things that get sent to me and I don't have to show anything um, this isn't a collaboration I'm not getting paid this smells so good like I believe it's unisex but it smells like like just rich and sexy and it's phenomenal um I didn't I got this like I want to say two weeks ago and I didn't take it to Paris with me but my row took hers and I was like every day like can I use your perfume <laughs> can I use your perfume <laughs> Sorry, um, that's how good it smells. Like it has been the only thing that I have been wearing. Um, if you just, if you're in a Sephora, just smell it. Uh, it is just, I can, I mean, I can barely smell it cause I'm sick, but I can still smell it. It is phenomenal. So I definitely wanted to mention that um, because again, I'm not a huge perfume person. I have like, I'm looking at my perfumes. I have like the Gucci Bloom. I have um, the Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I keep it pretty simple, but this just, beat all those, like I wear this every day. So that is the next September favorite. Okay, moving on. Um, next up, oh, makeup. This is another NARS product. This was not sent to me. Um, actually the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube, she's on Instagram, I'll pop her up right here. Um, we went, we went, she went to Paris with us and she gave this to me because she got the wrong color. Um, if you follow me, I'm sure you know, I already use NARS, um, Sheer Glow, that's the foundation I, I've always used. I used it probably the entire year and I love it. And this is the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear. So the difference is this one's just a little thicker and has more um, coverage. So I thought like the other one was just for me and you know, I like a more natural look, but this is my new favorite. <laughs> I used it, I've been using it probably for a week, yeah, she gave it to me in Paris. I used it every day that I was there. I didn't even pick up the other one. It gives just enough 
coverage, but still looks natural. But I don't, it doesn't break down at, by the end of the day. Like it's, it's very, again, it's long wear. So it definitely does that. And I am in the shade New Caledonia, which is what I was in the other um, foundation too, um, New Caledonia. Okay, next up, we'll stick with makeup and just get that out of the way. Um, so next up is a lip combo that I wore, I believe every day in Paris, and I got a lot of questions on it, and it's basically just my go-to nude. I usually will like mention it um, anytime I do an IGTV where I have some type of nude lip. It's what I'm wearing today, and it is a Milani lipstick, both very affordable. Milani lipstick, which I'm pretty sure is from Target, in the shade 61 Matte Naked. And that's what it looks like. It is super matte, it's super dry, like you have to put on some type of lip balm first, but it is the perfect shade. Like I don't have a lip liner on or anything, I just put this on, and then I put on this gloss on top and they are just the perfect combination. This is from Revlon, oh my God, it's like rubbed off, I've used it so much. And the color is 205 Snow Pink. And again, it is just perfect on my skin tone and I've been wearing it every day, um, especially with like that super blonde hair. If you haven't seen, I'll pop up a picture, but I just was trying to play it super safe with the makeup and this lip combo was perfect. So those are also September favorites. What next? I think that's the only makeup. Oh, um, I have one skincare item it is an oil. So this is an Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. You know I love oils, I'm an oil connoisseur. This was in a gift bag during New York Fashion Week and I've been using it. I still love my Luna Night Oil, but I just like this for day and night. It's a little lighter, it's not as heavy, it smells divine, but my skin feels so soft and supple and hydrated. But when you put it on, it doesn't feel like it's gonna do that, if that makes sense. Like when I put on the Luna Night Oil, like that feels, it's just thick and it feels like it's penetrating. Um, when you put this on, like when I first put it on, I was like, meh. But then the next morning I was like, oh, okay. So I've been using it. Um, again, it's pretty, it smells good. And I do feel like um, it makes my skin softer the next morning, so. But I use it before my makeup and at night but I've really been liking this. So, wanted to mention that. And, oh, one more beauty thing, which will be a quick one. This is a little makeup brush scrubber cleaner. Um, it has a little handle on the back. Of course, everything will be linked below. Um, but I've been using this to obviously clean my makeup brushes. And it's from, the brand is in Target. Hold on, because I have their makeup brushes too. It's from, what's the brand? Real Techniques. It's from Real Techniques. And I got it from Target, but it makes it so easy. So I just, I have a, like a brush cleanser. I think it's Sonia Kashuk. So I usually will just like squirt that on here and then take one brush at a time and just uh, wet it and then scrub it and then rinse it and it gets pretty clean. So I really like this. Okay, few more favorites. The last skincare type of thing is a salt scrub. And I don't think I've mentioned this before. I think I mentioned the hand cream before, but this is by a brand called Sakare. It is a deep cleansing salt scrub. And I just ran out of this um, probably a month ago. It lasts a really long time, it's huge. But um, the store is in Paris and I think they have one in London. So when I went back to Paris, I made sure to go to that store and I bought this and I bought the hand cream. But this, I cannot rave enough about it. I, I'm sure you have heard, I have dry skin, I have eczema, and I have never experienced the type of moisture from any product ever. So if I, when I use this, I'll just, you know, wash with my regular body wash and then I will scrub um, my whole body with this, like my arms, my chest, my legs. And when I get out of the shower, Typically, typically after about, I don't know, 2.5 seconds of getting out of the shower, my skin is like white. That's how dry it is. <laughs> and it's like, girl, let's get, some, let's get some lotion on. When I get out of the shower after I use this, my skin is shining, like it is glowing. I'm not joking. The first time I used it, I went to my fiance, I was like, look at my leg. It's shining, like look at it. And like, it's moist to the touch, like it's moisturized. Um, so. This is just like, I can't ever live without this. 
especially coming up on the winter. So I wanted to mention this because I just kind of like re-upped on it and I'm not sure if I've talked about it before, but this brand, I'm pretty sure they have a website and I will link everything I buy from there below. So this is phenomenal. I rambled, sorry, but that's how much I love it. Okay, next up, I have two handbags that I have not shown. Um, just between the hustle and bustle, September was busy. Um, I just didn't get time to share them. So, but they have been favorites because I have worn them nonstop. So first up is my mini Lady Dior. And I mentioned this in my updated luxury wish list video, which I filmed at the beginning of September. And I literally got this a few days after I filmed that video. I got it two days before I went to New York Fashion Week. I found it on Fashion File, of course. And I believe it was $800 or $700, which if you know Dior, you know that is a steal. I did make some compromises with this bag, but honestly, I, it was just perfect for me and I feel like it worked out the way it was supposed to. Um, so my wish list was a black Lady Dior with silver hardware. I wanted it to be more of an edgy, carefree, casual vibe as opposed to like, the Lady Dior I had before that I sold, which was just a little dressy and a little kind of stuffy and hard to wear and just throw on with everything. So this is perfect. It's super, super vintage. Um, and it is like the satin material, which I love because it's just easy. I don't have to worry about it getting messed up. And the handles are actually like lucite, plastic, something like that. Which again, um, when I had handles that had leather, like I was just afraid to touch them and hold them and like mess them up. So this is just perfect. It did come, it didn't come with a strap. That was like one of the reasons it was so cheap, which was fine with me because you know I have my um, Dior, like the thick strap, and I bought it specifically for whenever I got this bag. So when I want a strap, I can put that one on, but honestly, I always carry it like this or like on my arm like that. So it just worked out perfectly. Thank you, bag gods, for bringing her into my life. And I've worn this nonstop. I'll pop up a few pictures of a few times I've worn it, but I've picked this up probably the most out of any bag I've gotten um, throughout the summer. It just goes with everything, dress it up, dress it down, and I love it, and it fits a lot. I know it looks so small, but I can fit my iPhone. I have the 10, the biggest one. Um, I can fit my portable charger. I can fit my card holder. What else? And usually I put like my lip balm and a little lotion, and it all fits in there, so. That is that. And the second handbag that is on my September favorites list is this little Gucci felt bag, bum bag, whatever you want to call it. It is also super vintage. I got this during New York Fashion Week at Century 21. It was my first time there, which that's a phenomenal store. Um, but inside they actually have like a consignment store that sells luxury bags. So I was just, you know, perusing, minding my own business. And I stumbled upon this and I've wanted a belt bag for so long, but I just never found something that spoke to me and just seemed like easy to wear that I could just throw on. Um, and this one was perfect. It's super like slim and thin. It has a pocket in the back and then it has a little zipper pocket here and a little flap pocket here. I love the um, material of the strap and then you can tighten it or loosen it and it has a little clasp here. Um, it has wear and tear, but that doesn't, I don't mind that. So I've been wearing it like crossbody a lot. Um, I actually haven't worn it on my waist, maybe once. I think I belted a dress with it. Um, but I'll pop up a picture if I have one. I don't know if I took a picture in it, but I've worn it like traveling and I just love it. It's everything I hoped it would be. And I'm just very excited I got it. And I think it was maybe 400 or $500 at that little consignment store. So if you're in the New York area, definitely go to Century 21. Um, I don't know if they have them in all of them. I went to the Century 21 by the Oculus. So that's the one that I know has that little store in there. And they had some really good stuff. But you know, after I bought this, I had to go because I was out of money. Okay, moving on. I only have one thing left and then we'll move on to fail. Okay, last thing on my favorites list are my dad sandals. Let me try to put them together. These little, oh my God, they're a mess, sorry. I wore them 
in Paris. But these little sandals from Zara. And this was a great example of me like testing out a trend to see if it's something I would wear and that I would maybe eventually invest in. And I'm shocked at how much, first of all, the comfort. It is like walking on a cloud. I actually wore these during fashion week. I pop up a picture and I was just, you know, walking around the city all day in ultimate comfort. And it's just like a cool, stylish, like I'm not trying too hard. I'm not that pressed. I just got on my dad's sandals and I'm just fly. Like that, that's the vibe. Um, I know it's not for everyone, <laughs> but I love these. Um, I actually in Paris tried on a pair of Louis Vuitton sandals like this because I like I'm committed at this point like I love them I wish I had a few more months like if I would have saw those sandals in May I would have invested in them knowing how much I wore these I've worn these with dresses I wore them with like dress pants it's just it's a vibe and I love them I don't think I got these at the beginning of the summer so I, I know they're not available anymore but I will try to find something similar but just comfort and like a little bit of extraness with the little stones. I love them. So, okay, that's it for favorites. I have three fails and then I have a little something extra that I wanna share. So let's move on to fails. Okay, moving on to the fails. I have three. First up, I have the box. I actually don't even have the item. <laughs> But I just wanted to share because I was thoroughly disappointed. Um, these are Lily lashes. I le literally like had to throw them away in Paris because they fell apart that quickly. Um, but I definitely wanted to mention these. These are the 3D mink lashes and I have, what was the style? Hold on. It doesn't say, oh, Miami. Um, now this lash is perfect. Like it is my perfect lash if i had to make a lash as far as like the um thickness the fluffiness it is perfect um and they're around 30 dollars at sephora which is worth it for a good lash um you guys know i usually wear lava lashes and those are 30 dollars or 25 dollars um but those last it says 30 wears and this says 25 wears yeah cruelty free strip lash up to 25 uses per pair those the lava lashes I probably have some that I've had for months. I couldn't wear these more than three times for $30. Um, and I bought them twice because I thought the first pair, like, oh, maybe I was just like a little too, like not gentle enough, or maybe I just got a bad pair. So I bought a new pair before I left for Paris because I was like, I want some fresh lashes. And the first time I wear them, the first time I wore them and then took them off and tried to wear them again the next day, like they were literally breaking apart, like trying to take the glue off to reapply them the next day. And then the third time they were just ripping, like they were done. So thoroughly disappointed. And I just wanted to share that because I love convenience. Like for me having to order lashes, again, I love lava lashes, but to have to order them, you know, you got to stay on top of that or you're just out of lashes. So to have to remember to order them and then wait for them, these were at Sephora. So I was just like, oh, this would be great if these are amazing and I can just always come and pick them up. But no, that is not the case. So I, I wasted $60 on lashes that didn't last me combined five, five wears. So Thoroughly disappointed. Wanted to share that in case you all were in Sephora perusing like I was and thought these might be a good choice. Let me know below if you've ever tried Lily Lashes, if you've had similar situations or they work out fine for you. Let me know, maybe I got two bad batches. Okay, moving on. Um, the next fail is this palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette. Um, now this palette is great as far as pigment and color payoff. But, I mean, as you can see, see, it still looks brand new because, let me, let me try to get a good little shot. It is extremely difficult for me to create any looks. Um, I picked it up because, again, I've been trying to like have more fun with my makeup and be a little more bold. But I feel like, I don't know if it's just the way they're set up in the palette. Um, I'll pop up a picture if you can't see this. I don't know if it's just the way they're set up in the palette. But it's just like to me nothing goes together so anytime i reach forward and i look i'm just like uh, am i gonna do a a blue and a pink eye no um am i gonna do a purple and a taupe eye probably not 
like it's just like the literally the main color I've used out of this is the yellow like and I didn't spend $60 to use just one yellow shade so this was disappointing um, I thought I, I thought this would be like a great summer palette and I would wear it a ton and there were so many pretty colors but nothing goes together in my opinion um, and it's just hard for me to create a look so I always like open it and just close it back and, and pick another palette so that is a fail and then the last fail is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. And I told you guys I bought this as a set um, probably like two months back because it came with the Banana Bright Eye Cream, which is the GOAT, Holy Grail, I love it. And I wanted to try the other products because that eye cream was so good. It came with the Sea Boost Face Cream, which I love, I've almost used it all and I would buy that again. And then it came with this Truth Serum. For me, eh, meh. It just doesn't really do much. Um, I didn't see a huge improvement and it did, doesn't feel amazing. So I just wanted to mention it because I kind of, I mean, I know I talked a lot about how much I loved the, the eye cream and the C Boost is really good too, the face cream. But for this, I could live without it and I wouldn't purchase this again. I wouldn't purchase that set again. I'll just get the eye cream and the face cream. So just wanted to share this. So those are my favorites and fails. I did want to mention that I am sell selling two, um, luxury items. I've put it on my Instagram, but I figured I would share here too in case someone was interested. So the first item, they're both Chanel pieces. Um, they're both shoes. So these are Chanel slingbacks and they are in a size 37 and a half and they're super pretty. They have lace detail and like the black cap and a little slingback. Um, I just don't wear these enough. I thought, you know, I was gonna be like a little Parisian <laughs> lady and, uh, you know, be super chic, but I, my style is just a little more edgy, especially with my shoes. You know, I like like the Balenciaga shoes, I like the Louis Vuitton arch lights. So I just, for the price, I paid, I think $900 for these. Um, so I am selling these, I have worn them, so I'm selling them for 600. If you are interested, um, my email will be below. So that's that pair. Again, they are a 37 and a half and you'll see the huge discrepancy with both of the sizes of the shoes, but I'm typically a 37 or a 38. So those are my size. The other pair I'm selling because they're not my size and I was just so thirsty to have them, but I honestly, they just, they're too big. Um, and they are the Chanel mules with, with the pearl detail and they are beautiful. I love them. This is probably the most comfortable heel I have, but they're too big. <laughs> they are a size 40. Um, yeah, I just wanted them so bad. They were sold out everywhere and I bought this size, um, but now they're back in stores. So I would like to just buy my actual size. Um, so yeah, that's, that's these. These are typically, I believe, 900 or a thousand, I'm not sure. Um, and I am selling these for 600, so they're so cute. But yeah, because I have worn them, I mean, they have a little um, like crease here and I mean, the bottoms are worn. So if you're interested, again, email me, but I wanted to share that here because I don't think I've mentioned it in a video and I have a few people interested, but I just wanted to make it fair for my YouTube audience, so. That is that. Of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram at HiloLux and read my blog, hilolux.com. As always, thanks for stopping by. See ya.